Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we explained how we obtained the equation for the instrumentation amplifier. Now we've changed the circuit a little bit. Notice that we've now, instead of calling the resistor between here and here R4, we moved it out here, but essentially it's the same resistor, but now we made it into a variable resistor. Also notice that instead of having R3 and R3 there, we just simply call it R, and instead of having R1 and R2 here, we simply call it R as well. We made R1 and R2 equal so that there's no amplification to the signal because these resistors are not equal to one another. So it's simply an input of the output of the first two amplifiers going into our third amplifier. Now the output here now simply becomes equal to this. I just wrote it like this so you can see that it's exactly the same as what I had before, but instead of having an R3 there, we simply have an R, and instead of having an R1 and R2 here, we simply have an R as well, which means that this equation now becomes a lot simpler. It now says that the output voltage is equal to the quantity 1 plus 2 times R over the gain, what we call the gain resistor, times the difference of the two voltages, V2 minus V1. And what this means now is that the amplification of the signal can simply be controlled by a single resistor here. This is now a variable resistor. We can set the variable resistor to the value that we want so that the output voltage is a certain number times the difference between the two inputs. Makes it easy. It can then be very easily applied to any circuit you like by simply changing the gain. So in this case, the gain is equal to the quantity 1 plus 2 times R divided by the gain resistor. And for example, if you make the gain resistor 1 tenth this resistor, that would be 20 to 1 plus 1, that would be a 20 to 21 to 1 gain. If you make the gain resistor 1 100, this resistor, now we have about a 200 to 1 ratio. So you can see by simply changing the gain resistor, you can have a very large gain in the circuit. And that's the way we typically operate what we call the instrumentation amplifier. It is very easy to use and it's very typical using something like thermocouples. If you want to see what the, what the difference in the temperature is, a very small difference in the temperature can be picked up on the output voltage and you can have then a, a controller response to that very small change in the temperature. Things like that. And that's how we use the instrumentation amplifier.